Hello, my name is Julia and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you here back today for another short and super effective yoga practice together. So today's class is going to be focused on the core. Let's get started. So turn to face the front of your mat and bring the soles of your feet down onto the mat. Have your knees at hip distance apart and already activate the core and bring your spine nice and long here. So the belly button is coming in towards the spine and we're really pushing the front of the heart forward. So we're getting a nice tall spine. Bring the arms out in front of you at shoulder height. And we're gonna start rolling onto the back, but just a few times to warm up the abdominal muscles. So on an inhale, we're gonna come forward, lean over the legs, chin coming in towards the chest. And on an exhale, we come back up and C curve. So belly button comes towards spine, keeping the arms where they are, chin comes in towards chest. And we're rolling down into a point where you start to feel that fire in the abs warming up, feeling the shape. And then we inhale again, leaning over the legs. Exhale, curling down. Inhale over the legs. Exhale down. One last time, inhale. And then exhale, curling down. And we're going to hold here. Keeping nice and open in the chest, long spine. And then let's bring our right arm out to the side, opening up. Exhale back to center. Inhale, open. Exhale for center. Maybe lean a little bit further back this time. Right arm back, center. Left arm, center. One more time on each side, keeping the feet flat on the mat here. Left arm. Center and hold, maybe lean slightly further back and then slowly release your back onto the mat and hug your knees in towards the chest. Rocking from side to side, getting a nice massage of the lower back here. You can make circles with the knees in one direction and the other. And then slowly coming back to stillness, we're gonna bring our legs into a tabletop position and zip the legs together. So we're already feeling that nice core activation here as we push the legs towards each other and make sure your lower back is on the mat as well. Bring your arms out to your side in a cactus position and we're gonna exhale, slowly drop the knees over to the right, hovering so they're not touching the floor. You feel that core activation as you hover and then on the inhale, coming back to center. Exhale to the left, inhale to center. Exhale to the right, inhale to center, over to the left, center, one more time on each side, center, and left, and then back to center. Amazing. Now bringing the arms by the side, palms facing down, we're going to bring the right leg out in front of us so it's hovering off the mat, keeping the left leg in a nice 90 degree angle and then slowly bring the right knee back in. Switching sides, left leg, hold and then bringing it back in. And let's keep switching sides here, feeling the lower abs really switch on here, feeling that nice shake, warming up the core and connecting with the breath. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, keep going, keeping that lower back flat on the mat, last one on each side, amazing, slowly coming back to center, bringing the arms up overhead, and then inhale, we're going to lift the head, neck and shoulders off the mat, arms are coming out in front of us, and we're just going to hold here for five, chin in towards chest, Three, two, and one. Amazing. Bringing the knees in towards the chest. Hug yourself again. Rock from side to side. Catch your breath. And then slowly coming back to center. And we're going to rock and roll all the way up to seated. And then crossing at the ankles and making our way into tabletop position. So finding your way into a four foot stand. Pressing your all 10 fingertips into the mat, so we're keeping a lot of pressure off of the wrists. Your hips are directly over the knees. 
and finding a nice long spine. Again, belly button in towards the spine, tall spine, and really engaging the core already as we just sit here in a tabletop. Let's take a couple cat cows. So inhale, dropping the belly, opening the chest, gazing up. Exhale, push the mat away, chin towards chest. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then slowly coming back to our tabletop position. Let me try and get my hair out of my face. <laughs> and then slowly bringing the left leg out behind you, tucking the toes under. Feeling that core activation here, feeling the leg fire up, and on an inhale, lift the leg off the mat. Taking a second here to try and see if both hip bones are parallel, so maybe you have to drop the left hip a little bit here, feeling the core really work hard, and then slowly come onto the right fingertips and let the right arm go out in front of you. Let's just hold here for a breath, inhale, exhale. Then inhale, lengthen the arm and leg away from each other. Exhale, bend elbow to knee and crunch under the body. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, drop the right hand down, stay with the left leg up off the mat, and we'll just take the crunches with the legs. So exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Three more. Keeping connected with the breath, really flowing breath to movement. One more. Exhale, and then slowly release the left knee down, sit back into a child's pose and just flip your hands, palms up and down. So you're really not getting a nice warm up of the wrists, taking any tension off here, allowing the lower back to relax. One more deep breath here before we go to the other side. Exhale, and then slowly come back into our tabletop position. Okay, other side. So find your tabletop, pressing through all 10 fingers, and then slowly bring the right leg out behind us. Toes tucked under. Inhale, lifting the right leg up off the mat, holding here. Again, seeing if you need to do any adjustments of the hips, dropping the right hip down to meet the left. And then coming up onto the left fingertips, left arm goes out in front of us, hold here, one breath. Inhale, exhale. And then inhale, lengthen, exhale to crunch. You've got this. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to crunch. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to crunch. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. And lengthen. And then just drop the left hand down keeping the right leg up off the mat, and let's take the crunches with the legs. So knee to nose, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, inhale. Three more, inhale. Two, last one, curling in, exhale. And then slowly dropping that right knee down, tuck the toes under and let's make our way into our first downward facing dog. So pedaling out the feet here, as always, taking some time to bend one knee at a time, making sure again you're pressing through the fingertips and letting the weight stay off the wrists, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, feeling that beautiful stretch along the back of the legs. One more deep breath here. And exhale, coming to stillness. On an inhale, we're gonna come up onto the tiptoes and slowly roll our way forward into a high plank. So rolling forward like a wave, finding yourself in high plank. And then exhale, bend the knees, push the hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
Inhale up onto the toes, rolling forward, high plank. And then exhale, bend the knees, hips up and back. Last time, inhale, rolling forward, coming into our high plank position and hold here. Inhale and exhale. And then dropping onto the forearms for one breath. Inhale and exhale. And then slowly dropping the hips down and coming into Sphinx Pose. So the tops of the feet are flat on the mat, activating the legs so the knees come off the mat. The hands are down in front of us parallel and we inhale, opening the chest. Breathing in here, enjoying that nice stretch of the core, stretch of the front body. Inhale. And exhale, release. Bringing the hands under the forehead so you're really making a nice pillow here. Keeping the legs nice and active and on an inhale we're going to lift the head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Exhale, release. Inhale to lift, working the back body. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one and hold. Maybe lift a little bit higher here. And then exhale, release. Hands by the side, tuck the toes under and come into downward facing dog. Holding here. Exhale. And then slowly releasing the knees down, pushing the hips back to the heels and enjoy two deep breaths to close practice in child's pose. Inhale here. Exhale, sighing and without the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. And then slowly rolling yourself up to a seated position. Crossing over at the legs. Sorry, my hair has gone crazy here. And then dropping the hands by your side. Lifting the chest up nice and tall. Spine is long. And inhale, lifting the arms up overhead. Exhale, palms come down to heart center. And again, inhale. Exhale. One last time, inhale. And exhale, bowing your chin in towards your chest and thanking yourself for showing up on the mat today. Giving yourself a moment of gratitude. Letting that feeling fill through the entire body. And then slowly lift the head and open the eyes. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope your core feels nice and strong and you're ready to take on whatever you have to today. Thanks, see you next time.